Well, hello, you little darlings. It's you and I are fat fire here. Oh, it must have been a day by shrinking. Okay, enough of that foolishness. How's everybody doing? <coughs> Tis I. Guess what? It's raining again. Can you believe it? Two more days of rain. So we curtailed skidding on this one piece that we're, we've been on. It's just too friggin' wet. It was just drying up nice. I mean, really drying up nice. We're actually getting a little dust there, what? Uh, Monday. And then yesterday, freaking rained all day, most of the day. And today it wasn't too, too bad. It's starting to dry up again a little bit. <laughs> I'm just, you know, saying silly stuff, aren't I? Dry up, oh, please. But anyway, um, it started raining again here an hour or so ago. It's about 5 30, so. Oh, I blew hydraulic line, so I called it a day. So anyway, hey, uh, um, I'm kind of excited. I'm getting that dozer. Uh, we wired the money over to him today. I think it went all through. Maybe wired the funds. So uh, we should be getting that. It went through paint decals. I ordered a uh, screen and sweeps, uh, the limb riser sweeps for the front of it. Uh, I got them cheaper than I think we could build them in our shop. Because, you know, they already got the recipes, so they just bail them out. I got the whole package delivered and all for like three grand for the sweeps. And, you know, the box tube and all bent nice. And, you know, and then the uh, uh, screens, left, right, and rear. So we'll devise some doors or something on it later. Maybe, I don't even care. I like them open because I can see better. And, uh, whatever. Sucks in the winter when it's cold. We can Lexan it and throw a little bus heater in it or something. It'll be all right. Turn the fan around. And be good enough. I, I really, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of closed-in fan of cabs. I, I, you know, even running Kimmy, I know I shouldn't. But I think the freaking world. But I just like to hear what's going on and see what's going on. You get to Lexan, you can't see through it. I don't know. I, I, I just like open cabs, but whatever. I'm old school, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I got uh, uh, a buddy on YouTube here. Uh, uh, ISX Cummins 565, old Dr. Mudflaps. Uh, he's got he's got a video channel, so go check it out. He's hauled stuff all over the country, equipment and whatnot. So when he saw the video about me getting that dozer. It was funny, he thought it was Nashville, Tennessee I was at, not Nashville, Indiana. So he gave me a price, I thought it was a very good price anyway. Then he calls me back and lowers it because he said, oh man, I priced you from clear up Nashville, Tennessee. But anyway, it's still, it's still like, uh, I think from Indiana to my shop, um, it's, I think it was 465 miles or something. So he shot me a really good price. Um, I thought fair price. He's getting the uh, with permits for it. So I think I I talked to him today. I think he said he's going to try and get it next day or two. So that'll be exciting. I'll make a little video of that when it gets here. I'm kind of excited. I got tons of dozer work, cleanup work to do. So I'm kind of excited to get here, get going on. I've got a couple of big landings in the fields that we use. I got to get them closed up. The, the guy's not going to use them for the farm field, but uh, you know, I still want to get them closed up. It's seeded one on, so with spring coming here, it'll clean up for them. Uh, we got Jakey did all the cleanup on that Mortimer piece, but we still got the landings to clean up. We, we roughed them in, but I got to finish grade them and blow some more chunks in, you know, the log ends and stuff. I gotta clean it up. And I got I got a bunch of those here. So I'm kind of excited to see uh, how this thing works. Um, it seems to be a good machine. It seems to run nice. They put a new bottom on it. So they did sprockets, rollers. The chains look like they were just done. There's still all paint on them. So somebody must have done chains not very long ago because there's hardly any like where the sprockets ride on the bushings 
there's just almost no wear at all. So he didn't replace the chains, which is fine. But he put sprocket segments on it, all rollers. Uh, the idlers seem tight on it, you know, when you pick them up. They should be good for a few years, you know. So anyway, um, um, I guess that's about it. Uh, prayers for old Pete, old bugger. Broke his freaking ankle. Uh, I'm gonna have to kick that boy in the fox box. I'm telling you what. Pete, uh, what am I gonna do with you? Huh? That's too bad. Poor kid, he just got cranking. Breaks his damn egg. Alright, buddy. Well, I hope you get better here and whatever. So, he will. He'll be alright. So, anyway. I uh, just wanted to shout out to everyone. And say hello. Thanks for the new subs. Um, I'm going to try and get some decent drone videos. Alright, I'll let you go. My phone's ringing. So, ta-ta. Have a good evening. And if I don't